approaches. Last question here, I, because one of the things that this, this Me Too era has done, it's forced a, a lot of women uh, to speak out, women who feel emboldened now. One of those women, Monica Lewinsky, she wrote in an op-ed um, that the Me Too movement changed her view of sexual harassment. Quote, he was my boss, he was the most powerful man on the planet, he was 27 years my senior, with enough life experience to know better. He was at the time, at the pinnacle of his career, while I was in my first job uh, out of college. Looking back on what happened then, through the lens of Me Too now, um, do, you, do you think differently or feel more responsibility? Um, no, for... I felt terrible then. And I came to grips with it. Did you ever apologize no, to him? No, yes, and nobody believes that I got out of that for free. I left the White House $16 million in debt. But you typically have ignored gaping facts in describing this, and I bet you don't even know them because, so I am not going there. This was litigated 20 years ago. Two-thirds of the American people sided with me. They were not insensitive to that. I had a sexual harassment policy when I was governor in the 80s. I had two women chiefs of staff when I was governor. Women were overrepresented in the attorney general's office in the 70s for their percentage in the bar. I've had nothing but women leaders in my office since I left. You are giving one side and omitting Facts. Mr. President, I, I'm not. I'm not trying to present a side. I'm no, not, no. I'm, you asked me if I agreed. The answer is no. I don't. And I, well, I asked if you'd ever apologized, and you said you had. I have. You've apologized to her. I apologized to everybody in the world. They're wrong. But you didn't apologize to her, at least according to, to folks that we've talked to. There was never a, an apology. Made. I have not talked to her. Do you I, feel I like you owe it, her an apology? No, I do. I, I, I do not. I have never talked to her. But I did say publicly on more than one occasion that I was sorry. Okay. That's very different. The apology was public. And you don't think a private apology is owed? I think this thing has been, it's 20 years ago. Come on, let's talk about JFK. Let's talk about, you know, LBJ. Stop already. Okay. Yeah, that's also interesting. What? What part? Just this, what he just said. I don't think President, you think President Kennedy should have resigned? Do you believe President Johnson should have resigned? Uh, Mr. Someone President, should ask you these questions because of the way you formulate the questions. Mr. President, us. I was, again, Senator Gillibrand, she raised the issue. Others have raised the issue in this, in, during the Me Too movement. I was just. So you're, you're, you're here asking it now. Yeah, that's what. <clears throat> but when you filter the question back to me, there was a, gr a stunning article by a conservative woman that didn't even like me in the. New York Daily News, which had more facts about what happened 20 years ago than anyone out there. And she said, you know, we should not cheapen victimhood. And so you just draw your own conclusions. I dealt with it 20 years ago plus, and the American people, two thirds of them stayed with me. And I've tried to do a good job since then with my life and with my work. That's all I have to say to you. Got it. Okay.